shit. Yo! Hey, what's cracking three old dillies? I don't know why this stuff is just done. It's my brand new weed whacker, the old steel, boy. Cause I steal. I, I steal. Virginities. <laughs> Anyways, it's the new Weed Whacker. We're playing with the toys today, cause uh, well, we got some lawn care to do. I just got back from Florida, as you guys saw the fishing video, and uh, came back, grass has already grown up. Pretty good, too. I just mowed, so we're gonna pull the bad boy out. I've been weed whacking a little bit, and uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna time it today. I've got five acres here. Now, I'm not gonna mow the whole five acres, probably about four altogether. We're gonna see how long it takes, because, dude, in-law, I don't know if you know this, but, it says that that thing can mow five acres in an hour. Really? Yeah. Holy in shit. In one hour, dude. In one freaking hour, it can do all that. So it's pretty good. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna pull that some bitch out. And see. But first things first. Right when I was done with it last time, I ran over some string. So yeah, kind of pain in the dick. I've got some string on the blades underneath, and uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. So I'm gonna have to put this up on some some stilts and see if we can get that, burn that string off or something like that, cause uh, it's not cutting that good. is there's a lot of string underneath that thing. It's just a pain in the dick. I didn't see it, it was in some tall grass. So I'm gonna try to burn it off because I don't. it's so tight under there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cut it with a knife. So we'll see. Let me get these uh, pull-ups here and we should be okay. I don't think it'll hit the deck. All right, that might be all right. In-law might have to move it. Put the deck up all the way. And now, see if I can get under here, because let me show y'all. As you can see, look at all that line under there. So we got that, a little bit there, and a lot right there. So it's just going, these blades are moving pretty slow, so we're gonna see if we can uh, burn it off or something and get her going again. Oh man, this one is really rough. So it's so tight in there. I don't want to have to take the damn blade off. I'm gonna see if I can get this torch lit. Well, that didn't seem to do much. Well, I guess maybe it did. I think that's about as good as it's gonna get right now. Things melted. Uh, gonna run them blades, see if it'll work out. All right, so uh, what was happening before is after I ran over that string and everything, it was like super tight and, and they just weren't, they were spinning very slow. So now, you know, they're they're all spinning a lot better than they were, so that's good. And I think should be okay, but yeah, all the strings off of them now and there's nothing binding them up, so we're good to go. And I reckon if that happens again, just get a bigger torch. Because it was it was kind of cutting a little lopsided where like 
maybe the middle blade blade wasn't spinning great and it wasn't doing good but that's better so should be good to go so what we got here is i've got my two front yards and then i've got my backyard and then i've got two kind of side yards so all together that equals i don't know in what do you think three and a half four acres yeah, pretty close i'm gonna see how fast we can mow it because dude i can mow this whole thing it used to take me forever in an old riding mower and i could mow this whole thing in like 15 minutes <laughs> like i'm not kidding dude it's, 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 it took for that maybe a little bit less let's say about like 18 I think it turned out pretty good <laughs> all right so one thing I was gonna ask y'all is I got all these freaking weeds and grass growing in these rocks right here in the front what is the best weed killer you guys suggest because i've never really used weed killer before because well i've always lived out in the country and everything nothing's ever really been pretty or anything so uh let me know what you guys suggest for like killing these weeds and crap kind of need to bring in some more rock i think to cover this all in it's all dirt now pretty much i don't know where the tits the rocks go it's like the dogs eat them or something but anyways just got a little bit more weed whacking to do and uh i think i'm gonna go finish that side in the back see how quick we can get her done i think less than an hour and it should be good you now i got me a new mower got me a new weed whacker now should i get me a new leaf blower or something to get all this out of there or should we just use a broom <laughs> I think leaf broke the blower would be cool. <laughs> All right, so this is the after right there. In law's gonna go and weed whack in between the trees there and stuff like that. But it looks pretty gosh dang good, man, compared to what it was. And it only took about 18 minutes or something like that. And I was actually going pretty slow too. So, you know, that thing can go freaking 13 miles an hour quick. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start over there in the back. In law is gonna strap the GoPro to the weed whacker and weed whack all this little crap right here. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's get it. What's up guys? So I uh, just got done weed whacking. Got pretty much done, it looks pretty good. Uh, these little tiny bush thingy, my bobbers there. Got that, got over by the trees, now it looks all pretty like. Got over by that tree. I got some stuff in the backyard, but then I started running out of wire. That stupid weed whacker, man, keeps running out of wire. Well, not really running out, but the thing, the attachment right on the top keeps falling off. Very B on his chesty dusty steed. I went over here and got the back deck a little bit, but then I, uh, the thing kept busting up and I couldn't even do a good job. All right, we done. Dude, birds are chirping, suns is out. It looks freaking good, man. So. We'll give you guys a walk around of the yard. Come on, in-law, show them, man. Show them, dude. Yeah, look at that. Over here, see the nice tree in 
Uh, weed whack. Uh, dude, why are you so slow? Freaking Luna got Freaking in my in -law, way. dude. He's starting to work for me again. He's a little slow. In law's in the way. Mm. Wait, Luna. Here we go. Nice little area right here with the tree. And then you look down towards the backyard. Look how good that looked down there, man. Mm. Look how good that looked down there. So I got some trash and stuff on the side of the house that needs to be dealt with. Make sure y'all let me know on the weed killer. I need to figure that crap out. Five yard over here. Looking good, looking good. I think we're about to shoot some bows. I mowed the back. Sorry, I'm wearing flip-flops. And then, of course, the back here. Nice, and we can shoot the bows up to, I don't know, pretty much 60 yards to where it starts getting really wavy, but yeah, so we can shoot the bows and we're gonna go sight Miss Atwell's in. In-law and I sighted my new bow in, which we'll show you guys. Should we show them today? Should we show them now? We can. Yeah, dude, we can. We and then should we show them the base? Dude, there's so much to show you guys. Should it's we so show them the basement? Exciting. Yeah. All right, let's do it. MTV Crib style, got outlaw cribs. Come on now. So, this is a staircase here. We're gonna do it. Oh, get back up there, you dang dogs. We're gonna do a different light fixture here. New railing, because it's not up to code right now, because it sticks out the end. And this is gonna be carpet. So, go ahead and come down here. And we have framed walls. Holy dick. Framing is pretty much done. There's just a couple little things left to do in the bar. So this is the uh, main wall here. And you know what I just remembered? The electrician didn't do the lights right there. Oh. Anyway, so this is the uh, wall that you're gonna see. There's gonna be light fixtures and stuff here. The electrician came, ran wires for everything. Should we just do it here first? This is the storage unit room. So got this moat because the plumber was here getting some stuff. This is the bathroom. Come in here. Then you'll be here, toilet will be there, shower there. So that's what uh, that pipe is there. That's the, the drain, that's the flange for the toilet. And then all the piping and stuff. He's got the, the shower thing going in and all that crap. This behind in-law is my new furnace. So we just got that put in. Uh, I wanted to get it replaced beforehand and now it's illegal. It was all the way back that way facing towards the wall and it wasn't up to code. So I had to fix that, but eventually we're gonna put my deep freezers in here and that's where they'll be. So it's perfect. So my deep freezers will be here. This will be blocked off of the door and got a nice little walkway and stuff. Circuit board here as well. And then eventually, obviously this will be the living room. These bags are gonna be down. This is my bar. So this is gonna be the bar. You walk back here, there's gonna be shelves up here. We got can lighting here. We, got, we put some cans in. Uh, we got outlets in the bar, outlets everywhere. We've got three outlets here. One, two, six, six just back here. <laughs> Bless you. Sawdust, Woo. And then this is the living room. TV's going over there. All the stuff's wired up. We got the can lightings, the recess lighting back in here. AC's all ran, heat's ran. And then there was uh, old piping in here. We had to cut those down, refill that with concrete. Here's a little hallway and this is where the rooms are gonna be. So we've got a little hallway lighting here. This actually underneath the staircase is gonna be a closet. So he framed that off in there and this is gonna be a closet for some extra storage space. This is gonna be in-laws room in here. This is the big room. So we've got the closet here, big closet. The windows obviously, he'll be able to have a nice queen bed or whatever in here. Taking these sliding doors out and we're doing French doors. That'll be happening next week, I believe. And then this is the smaller room, which we had to kind of work with. I wanted to add one more room. So it's gonna be a smaller room because of the furnace, single bed here. And then this pipe's gonna be moved and then that's the storage space. That'll be on a door and then the little closet there. So yeah, this is an extra thousand square feet we're adding to the house and um, should give us some good equity in it and all that crap too so should be finished within the next couple weeks and drywall happens next week as well we just got to get it inspected make sure everything's good and yeah tits money all right and now it's starting to rain we're getting a little bow shooting in this is the new well it's not the brand new but this is the matthews triax i like the triax because it's a little bit shorter it's a 28 inch limb to limb. And uh, so the new one out is the Vertex, but got this set up, I thought it looks pretty cool. I got it in the stone color. Got a black gold sight, it's a slider, three pin slider, super killer sight, love it. A, what is this, A, oh, I always take AEE, -E. it's AAE -E Max fletchings, all black, which was probably a bad idea, just in case I wanna lose an arrow. Shoot an Eastern Axis and they're the match grade and what are they five millimeter there's brass inserts and everything like that super smooth shooting the uh true fire uh i don't even remember what it's called anyways let's go ahead and give her a slang pulling ah it's a little different than miss outlaws yeah it's freaking sick man 
now it's starting to rain but uh yeah super nice shooting 65 pounds goes up to 70. what else what else what else i think that's about it a little bit in the bullseye there not too shabby i love this bow though dude out of every bow that i've had i've usually i've shot matthews uh i've had my no cam but this thing like once you get it dialed in it is like dialed in i dig it i shoot g5 montec broadheads you know i've never had a problem with them killing a deer or a hog or anything like that but i am going after a little bit bigger game this year like we're about to leave for canada in law and i for a bear and uh, then we're gonna be doing some elk hunts this year as well. So I might switch it up, you know, maybe use some rage or something like that. So we might switch up a broadhead, I don't know. It's like perfect timing, it's starting to rain. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Dude, doesn't the yard look nice, man? If you guys wanna see some more mowing bitches, let us gosh dang know. If you guys wanna see more bitches on the basement, let me know. If you guys wanna see more bitches on the bow, if you want more hunting and fishing, you just let me freaking know. Smash thumbs up. We appreciate you guys watching here and live the thrill. Now that I got in-law with me, a lot more vidges coming on here. So make sure to hit subscribe and turn notifications on. I love you. Almost said mother truckers, dude. Oh my goodness. Love you thrill billies. We'll see you then. Live to thrill. Welcome to the mother trucking woods. Slanging mud up in